Hello everybody, this is Fino and we are back with some more Duelists today. In the background that I hate, rabble rabble. <laughs> so yeah, I'm super excited to get some more of this game played and have some more fun with it. This game, I can't, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, I've played some other stuff this week and comparatively it's just far better. I played Hearthstone this week. This is better in my opinion. I played a game called Crossmaga. That's got some really cool, interesting uh, card art in it and some really cool mechanics. But again, Duelist is just, it's leagues above anything I've played recently. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna dive right on in. We're gonna, we're gonna do the gauntlet today. Um, compete in draft mode. The longer you last, the better the rewards. So we did get a free little token for it. Test your skills in the gauntlet. Draft a deck of 30 cards and face off against other players. Each win unlocks better rewards. Battle until you lose three times. So it's your basic arena. Um, who, who do we want to play? None of these are our standard hero. Um, I love the music. It's fucking great. Um, ooh, who do we play? I feel like this is probably the most balanced character to play in an arena, but both of these guys are really cool. And then there's him. Deal two damage to all the enemies in the general's column. Fae Bloodwing, uh, give your general plus one attack. And teleport a friendly minion. I'm gonna go with Vath the Immortal. Okay, let's do Vath and see what we can make happen. All right, so we've got Give a friendly minion plus one attack and frenzy. Give a friendly minion plus one plus one for each damage that was dealt this turn. That's kind of cool. For each time damage was dealt this turn. Um, so it's going to take a lot for that to stack. Uh, deal two damage to the enemy general. Both players draw a card. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with the gaze. Uh, it's, a, it's a cool card. Um, we got this guy here. He's pretty cool looking. Look at him. His neck's like, uh, frenzy while attacking and melee range strike all nearby enemies. That's pretty cool. Um, both players draw a card opening gambit. And then first sword of arcane, your minions have plus one attack. That's pretty cool. Let's go with her. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So we've got, we need some lower cost stuff at the end of your turn. Give. Other friendly minions plus one health. That's kind of cool. Uh, minions damaged by Serval are pulled in front of him. He costs quite a bit for that. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to all nearby enemies. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go with the Bastion. No, let's go with Bone Reaper. Our curve is pretty high right now, so let's look. There we go. This is better. Uh, Helm of Mechazar. Let's go with this guy here. Blood to your elf. Uh, we've got an artifact. Your general gains frenzy. Steal a random minion from your opponent's deck and summon it. That's kind of cool. Uh, grow plus one plus one. Friendly minions grow at the start of both players' turns. That's pretty nice. Let's grab her. Uh, the first non-bloodbound spell you cast each turn costs one less. The music is awesome. Uh, it's like, I'm just pumped. Whenever you draw a spell, put a copy of it into your action bar. How are we looking for spells? We've got a few. Or we've got one. Uh, her value is not really that great. Let's go with this little guy. Uh, opening hatch a friendly egg. We haven't gotten anything with egg synergy yet. Force field. Cancel the first damage taken each turn. That's pretty cool. Let's grab her. Uh, hatch a friendly egg. Give a friendly minion plus one attack in frenzy. Rex is a battle pet. Look at him. Rebirth. Uh, when this dies, it leaves behind a zero one egg that hatches in the same minion before your next turn. Sure. I like that. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to all other minions. Whenever this minion deals damage, draw a card. And whenever you cast a spell, your Arcanist minion... All right, let's grab this guy. Uh, let's grab him for a little bit of health. Uh, let's grab another Rebirth. 
Uh, he's pretty cool. 3-3 three, three for 3. Whenever you replace a card, this minion gains plus 2 attack this turn. That's pretty good. Let's grab him. I think yes. Uh, opening gamut. Give nearby friendly minion plus 2 attack this turn. That's not bad. Uh, dampening wife. We have some pretty high cost stuff already. Let's grab him. He's cool looking. 3 cost 2, 8. Stun an enemy, give you a general plus one attack. Uh, let's go with him. Juggernaut Golem. Look at that guy. And we got this. Whenever this minion takes damage, deal that damage to all nearby enemies. Whenever it takes damage. So that's pretty good. Grow plus five plus five. Whenever this minion takes damage, summon any summon that many random golem eggs nearby. Uh, yeah, if the game lasts that long, I want him in my pocket. How many cards do we have? 16? Yeah, 16. Um, yeah, let's grab him. We've seen him before. We've got Epic Pulls. Whenever this minion takes damage, it randomly teleports. He's cool looking. Uh, whenever your opponent summons a minion, deal one damage to the enemy general. That's kind of cool. And opening gamut. Each player summons three spirit and kin nearby their generals. Hmm. I'm going to go with Venom Toth. All right. Your general gains four attacks. Pretty good. Whenever you cast a spell, let's do the claws. Friendly minions from any tribe have plus one, plus one. Whenever your general takes damage, this minion gains that much attack. Uh, yeah, let's go with him. Deals double damage to minions. That's kind of cool. Destroys any minion with the lowest attack or tied for the lowest attack. Yeah, let's grab it. Some good removal. Endure the Beast Lands. Turn a two into Primal Flourish. Friendly minions standing here have, have grow plus two plus two. That's kind of sweet. Whenever your general takes damage, fully heal this minion. Not bad. Put a random mech minion. Uh, let's grab that. Gains plus one plus one for each card in your opponent's action bar. Whenever friendly minion attacks, restore one health to your general. Let's grab that. Uh, ooh, grow plus four. Restore three health to your general. In rebirth, it leaves behind the hatches in the same minion before your next turn. That's pretty cool. I like the whole rebirth kind of mechanic. It's kind of cool. Uh, summon an egg that hatches into a copy of your general. That's pretty cool. Golden. Your other minions can move two additional spaces. And provoke. Let's grab that. He's pretty good, too. The grow mechanic is pretty interesting. Destroy a friendly minion to summon a random magmar minion that costs one more. Give a nearby friendly minion plus two plus two. Destroy all minions with three or less attack. Uh, let's go with him. Could use some more high cost cards. Um, I didn't think that we were going to get this much low stuff. Um, destroy any minion with the lowest attack. Whenever a friend... Ooh, that's pretty good. Card draw. That's pretty good. Let's grab him. Alright. Deal three damage to all enemies in front of this. That's pretty cool. Next gauntlet card will be legendary faction cards. Your next gauntlet card choices will be legendary faction cards. That's tricky. I like him, though. But we get legendary, so let's grab it. A card designed literally around draft is pretty cool. Uh, whenever a friendly minion or your general takes damage, your general gains plus two attack. Both players put all minions on their action bars onto the battlefield near their general. Deal five damage to all non-egg minions and generals. 
I'm gonna grab the artifact. And let's play. Took 10 minutes to draft a deck. That's pretty good. That's This is great, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I love running arenas. I love doing Magmar stuff like that. Versus Magmar. Magmar versus Magmar. Fino plays, go! We're gonna win. We're probably not gonna win. I love doing drafts, but I tend to be really bad at them. Uh... Let's purge this and this. Eh, I kind of wish I just kept my stuff. All right. But he's also got some rebirth stuff going on over here. Rawr! There we go. And then let's replace this guy. Let's see what we can make happen. Oh, he didn't go for the mana. Why wouldn't he? I don't understand why he wouldn't. He didn't go for it. So I think we're going to drop this guy, then this guy. Can no longer counter. That's kind of mean. Well played. All right, so let's drop this guy. And then... Have our general attack. And then I drop this guy right here. Wreck that guy. And then... I wish I hadn't done that. I needed to attack the egg. Ugh, misplay up the wazoo. It's okay. It's my bad. We've got our artifact claws, which is gonna be very nice for buffing her. I think it's a her. I assume it's a her. Oh, he's gonna go for the kill. No, interesting. He gets more value out of that now though. Spell. All right, so Place this card, meaning gains plus two attack. So he has a huge card advantage on me. 
Yeah, he's gonna run away, which makes sense. Wait, what was the buff card he had? Cost one less for each summon from any player's action bar. Okay. Um... Lucky Huntress, grow. Friendly minions both grow at the start of their return. Cool. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to all other minions. What does this guy do? Summon if you have another minion from the same tribe. So every time he plays something of the same tribe, his general heals. Well, that's a frog. What the hell is that? Trying to read the damn card. Activate the start of your turn. Put a random battle pet in your action bar. All right. Um. So he's got a lot of stuff going on over here. Yes! We know who's coming out next turn. Why is he laughing? He does have lethal. Well, he had he had lethal. Until he did that. What is he doing? He had lethal. I don't know what the hell he's doing.
right, so we lost round one. It was a close game. I'm not gonna call it like a bloodbath or anything. I mean, it was a very close match. He's down to five health. So I'm not I'm not too sour. I'm not too sour about it. And we leveled up. Opening gambit. Let's hop back on in and see what we can make happen. I should have brought a drink. I got nothing to drink. Ah. Oh, maybe I do. Haha, uh -huh, I do. Magmar versus oh, it's her Arvincian. again. We've played her before. It's a really cool character. Alright. That's pretty nice. Dump him. Dump him. There we go. I just think the art for that character is super cool. Well, that was uncalled for. I'm a dragon. Alright, so she's gonna grab the mana. Ooh, he's cool looking. Let me see him. Ooze. Whenever this minion takes damage, turn space occupied into shadow creep. Cool. Friendly Wraithling. Oh, that's pretty cool too. well played. Hopefully she doesn't do that. I'd really love to see my little egg survive. Come on, forget your power up. Fuck! Ow, oh, no! Why do you have to be better than me?
not looking good for us here either. Oh, we drafted a bad deck. I don't think it's only that we drafted a bad deck. I think I'm not as experienced with a lot of the cards in this game. So doing a draft and not knowing what to pick and what's like what synergies are there. I don't think there's anything I can do. Why didn't he gain any attack? It says friendly minions will grow. Friendly minions grow at the start of both players' turns, but he didn't grow. Do you already have to have the effect? Well, that's a loss. I'm not going to waste their time. I'm more admiral than that. It's all right. We're leveling up. We're doing pretty good. I would have liked to have gotten a win. I mean, Vitruvian versus I didn't think the deck that I've drafted was that bad. Maybe I'm playing it wrong. I don't know. Um... Hello. There we go. Alright, so I feel like we have a pretty good hand. Oh, he grabbed that too. Um, I do feel like we have a pretty solid little hand going on right now. What's his stats? 2-2? Two, two.
Aha! So having the 5-5 five five with fly is going to be really good, especially since we can give it additional health. He didn't attack, which I find really interesting. If he won't attack, I certainly as hell will. Um, I have no problem with that. See what he does now. Obviously, he's got a bunch of dervishes that are out. I don't know how many artifacts you can have. Come on, buddy, what you up to? we need is one damage. Oh, we lost our thing. Well, we had lethal. Now, does he have lethal? Six, nine, eleven, Close. He's very, very close. I think we lost again. I'm pretty sure we lost. Because he'll break my artifact. Yeah, it's over. That breaks the artifact. Unless we get something that can deal five damage, which I don't think we have anything. It's all over.
We can't reach him. He's gonna take three, but it's not enough. It just wasn't enough. Oh, we were so close. We got crafty and everything. It just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> we get no rewards. We lost every match. Why would you give me a reward? That's not bad. Gold spirit for losing all our matches? That's not bad at all. 150 gold. So I guess it's not bad. I mean, obviously, ideally, you'd want to go a little bit better. Um, let's... I want to try her. Let's play her. Manar versus Manmar. You phone? You phony? Is that what he's trying to say? All right, so we've never played this character, so let's get rid of those. A lot of spells. A lot, a lot of spells. What am I supposed to do with that many spells? So we got a Vesper that we can buff. Super cute little guy too. Primordial Gaze. him gritted down there and then Wow, he's coming right in for blood, isn't he? Interesting that he traded like that for damage. So, if we kill this, 
Let's buff him. And then kill him. His big guy there can't reach us. I can reach you with my hero, dude. Why would you do that? I killed both your guys, didn't it? Ties, right? Oh, it doesn't tie. You don't have anything with provoke, dude. I don't know what your plan was. You weren't going to escape. I got you. I got you. So yeah, this, this she's actually pretty fun. She plays. She's literally, from what I can tell, a buff type class, which is pretty cool. Um, we're still rocking silver. So yeah, let's uh, let's do. We have what? We got one orb we can open. Let's do another match. And let's try another character. We haven't tried this guy. So let's give him a go. Let's see what we can make happen with him. And this is with just basic decks. So even with basic decks, we've made it all the way down to rank 20 from 30. Um, Songhai versus so I would, I would leave the game at its very balanced early on. We'll see how it stays. We've got backstab. It's not a bad hand all over. Let's just yeah, let's just keep it. We got double range. They cost a bit. So maybe I mean Whenever you cast a spell, deal one damage to the enemy general. That's pretty cool. Some kind of some direct damage. I don't know what he's doing. All right, so he's got the obelisk out. Deal six damage to all enemies in this row. Interesting. Um, what do we have for mana? Can we get enough? We can deal three to it, but I can't reach it. I can't make it to it. We only have three, four. I need five. All right, so I can't I can't kill it. There's no way to kill it, so I can't tag that. Um, what I can do Another one? Well, that one I can reach, so it doesn't really bother me as much. I can reach that one now. A 
I'm assuming he's gonna go claim the mana with that guy. Or just sit there and hover over the same thing forever. Another one. All right, so. Got the dervishes. He can only hit me with one of them. Which was kind of the. Oh, now he can hit me with two of them. Oh my god, he just keeps summoning these things. It's ridiculous. What? What the fuck just happened? Holy shit. <laughs> Well, that sucks. Like, big time. I can't get away from him either. It's over. Don't you laugh at me, you arrogant prick. Ugh. Woo, we leveled up. All right, so... A majority of the decks that we've played against have been world explorer playing one of each faction enjoy this hard to get legendary rarity faction card to bolster your collection that's pretty cool cost five though it's a little expensive um i like that they give rewards for doing different things too I think she was pretty good. I enjoyed playing that. I feel like we should get all of them up to rank 10. And by then we'll have probably figured out which now ones are our favorites. Versus Vitruvian. So Vitruvian is definitely powerful. I would say Vitruvian is probably one of the more powerful <clears throat> decks I've played against so far. Um, just because he can, he can literally just dominate with board control. So if he gets those dervishes, he can just keep dr those fucking things. Um, he actually seems a little overpowered. Um, just because, A, of how much health this thing has. The health that it has is incredibly OP. I understand that the dervishes do die at the end of the turn, um, but it's still, it's still very powerful. Especially considering that, from what I can tell at least currently, the whole deck revolves around buffing um, and basically getting those cards. So he did snipe all of the mana, which is a super dick thing to do. 
But it's my fault. I didn't have any low-cost minions that I could play. So we'll see what happens. Your general gains plus two attack. Well, they killed the provoke card pretty quick. Um, so they can hit anything. So if I want to drop this guy, I've got to drop him like here. We've only got five mana. Oh, the freaking vest, the uh, dervishes. That's a complete misplay. I should have played him farther away and buffed him next turn. Um. It really does seem like most of our hand is filled with these uh, buff cards. Oh my god, dervishes. I don't know, this class is incredibly overpowered. I have no idea how to deal with it. I mean, it's early on, I'm assuming that there's a pretty good counter for it. But... It just ramps up so fast compared to what I've seen with all the other classes where they ramp up incredibly slow. Um. <coughs> and it costs so little. It only costs two. And it's a permanent 2-2 two -two that you get to summon every turn with rage. Like, I don't know. That's... Uh, how do I concede? Uh... It's just really powerful. I don't... Every time we've played against that class, I think we've lost. Um, and I don't know if it's the rank. I don't know if it's just the rank we're sitting at, maybe. Where that class is currently what people are using to push. Um, there's always a meta deck... Um, that people will play. You look it up online, you find your net deck, and you just play that. Um, personally, I think it's a really lazy way of playing the game. And I'll probably piss a few people off for saying that. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. If, really, if anybody has an issue with that, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I think neck decking is incredibly lazy, and it ruins a lot of games. Um, because people just basically look up the deck online and 
That's what they roll with. And it doesn't take any skill, in my opinion, to do that. Anybody can hit Google, look up best deck. All right, what do we got? So we're playing against us. I like how she like flings the sword around. Sword gun. Oh my God, look at him, it's a little cute little owl. When this minion survives damage, transform it into a different battle pet. Well, I guess we need to make sure it doesn't survive damage, don't we? I don't get the point of this guard. I mean, obviously it's so you can put a low value card in your deck and transform it. So you can put a one cost in and a one cost zero zero or take something that's almost dead maybe and give it some value still. That guy's really cool too, hey? Let me see the card. Infiltrate, whatever the damage the general, put a random battle pet into your action bar. That's a pretty cool minion. Now we drew it again. All right, what does our blood power do? Deal two damage to all enemies in the general's column. All right, so we have board advantage currently, which is great, um, but at any point that could change. All right, so he's gonna go in for the kill. and then wait out the clock, apparently. I don't know what he's doing. And I did notice this, there is a tick. I mentioned it in last episode, I think, that I wish there was a ticker for this. I guess the reason I didn't see a ticker was because it was on the final step, but there is a ticker for it, so. So, that's my way of just not dealing with that. So we've got some of our harder hitters now in our hand.
the hell are you doing? She has a one card advantage on me. But we can drop the 8-8 eight, eight next turn. What the hell's this? Whenever an enemy attacks this minion gain, plus three attack until the end of your turn. It'd be really good if it had provoke. After this moves, draw a card. That's pretty good. Aha, he pulled my own shit on me. Transforms into a powerful minion if its hidden condition is met. Hmm. Summon the switch's positions with the minion that transformed it. Her. So we've got a heavy hitter on him. I'm curious if he tries to take it down or if he just goes for my face. He's going for the face. Can he kill me if he goes for the face? Five. Yeah, he can. By one point. Well, that's a bummer. But we did hit level four, which isn't bad. We didn't get a lot of wins today. It's a bit of a bummer, actually. Um, but... I mean, you can't win them all. It's a motto I use with pretty much all of my series. You can't win them all. Um, we started mucking around with different classes, and I think that did throw us for a bit of a loop. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing the draft. Um, I feel like as I become better acquainted with the game, I'm going to have better luck in the drafts. Uh, give a friendly plus three health. Permanently gain one mana crystal. That's kind of cool. Uh, and provoke. That thing is really cool looking. Like, really cool looking. Um, and we got this guy, Firestarter. Whenever you cast a spell, summon a 1 1 spell spark with Rush on a random nearby space. And your minions cost one less to summon and take one damage when summoned from your action bar. Hmm, interesting. It's pretty cool, though. So, yeah. Still loving Duelist. This game is fantastic. We're going to keep playing it here on the channel and keep having a good time. Hopefully, next time we can get some wins because we weren't that lucky this time around. And as I get better and I figure out the game a little bit more, obviously, we're going to have better luck. So, yeah. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. I really hope you guys are enjoying Duelist and that you'll come back very soon for some more. Thank you all very much. And as always, till the next video. Oh, hey there, you made it to the end of my video. While you're here, why don't you hit the subscribe button, check out a recommended for you video, and maybe watch something next. 
who knows? While you're here, also hit that like button and hit that little bell down there to get notifications for all the newest and greatest content from my channel. Thank you all very much, and we'll see you in the next video.